Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today, let's learn how to make this fighter jet shooting game. It's very easy. We can make this in less than 10 minutes. So let's start. But before we start, let me tell you something about block based coding. Computer doesn't understand our language directly. It needs instructions called command. In every language, there are different types of commands. Example, C, Java, Python. In block-based coding, blocks are the commands. Today, I'm going to use the language Scratch to make my program. Go on scratch.mit.edu and press on the create. Now it creates a project for you. You can log in if you want. I have already logged in. You can also make the project without logging in. These are sprites. They appear over here. You can do animations on sprites. You can choose a sprite if you want. There are many types of blocks at the left, like look, sound, events, and control. You use blocks from here to make programs over here. Let's delete this old sprite and add a new sprite. We'll take Anina dance. But for this project, we don't need that sprite. We'll need a fighter jet and a missile. So we'll upload them. We'll take missile sprite horizontal and fighter sprite and then open them. Now it shows on the screen. The missile is too big. Let's reduce the size to 20. Yes. Now, let's get the fighter sprite and our missile down. Let's start the coding first with fighter sprite. We'll go on events. What are events? A thing that happens is an event. Example, space key is pressed. That's an event. We'll change this block into when right arrow key is pressed. And now we'll go on motion. And take the block that says turn right 15 degrees. Let's test it. Yes, it moves. Now let's do the same with left. We'll go on events and take the block that says when space key is pressed and change this into left arrow. And now we'll again go to the motion and take the block that says turn left 15 degrees. Let's test it. Yes, it works from both the sides. Now let's go to the missile sprite horizontals profile. We'll go on events. And take the block that says when space key is pressed. And now we'll go to motion. And take the block that says move 10 steps. Let's test it. I'll press space key. Yes, it moves. Now what we want to do is to repeat this until it goes to the edge. So let's go to control. What are what is in control? There are loops in control. What are loops? To repeat a block or command, we use loops. We can add a condition to it. So we'll take the repeat until block and add a condition in it. We'll go to sensing and take the block which says touching mouse pointer and add it as a condition in the repeat until and turn it into touching edge. So it will repeat move 10 steps until it's touching edge.
let's test it i'll press space key yes it moves 10 steps until it's gone to the edge let's try it again yes it goes now what we want to do is when it goes to the edge it shall hide so let's go to the looks and take the block that says hide and add it under the repeat until so it hides now what we want to do is go to the it the missile the missile shall go to the fighter sprite so let's go to motion and take the block that says go to random position and add it under the repeat until and change it into go to fighter sprite it will go to fighter sprite but now it's not visible so we'll go to the looks and take the block that says show and and add it under the when space key is pressed now let's see if it works yes it works now let's again go to events and take the block that says when green flag click and now we'll go to looks again and take the block that says hide and add it under the when green flag click this is to hide when our program runs first time now let's go it's not pointing in the same direction the fighter sprite is pointing so let's make it point we'll go on the profile of fighter jet and take the turn 15 degrees aside and delete the events now what we have to do is go to control and add a loop we'll take the forever and add to if then what does forever do whatever is inside forever it repeats it forever and if then needs a condition if the condition is true it will go inside and do that thing now let's add two if then blocks now we'll need a condition so let's go to sensing we'll take the block that says key space pressed and add it in one of them and change it into right arrow and add the turn 15 degrees right inside it so when this is pressed it will move like this now let's do the same with left we'll take the block that says key space pressed and add it in the if then and take and take the block that says turn 15 degrees left now we only need is the event we'll go on events and take the block that says when green flag click block let's try it no it's not pointing in the direction still the missile should point as the same direction in fighter jet so now there is a tricky part this is the direction of fighter jet when i change and turn then the direction will change too it changes all the time when i turn it so let's make a variable called direction of fighter jet we'll go on variables and click on the make a variable and name it as direction of fighter jet and now we'll press on the ok this is a variable at the top but what is a variable well variables store the value which can change we have to store this direction 
in the variable let's see how to do it we'll go on variables and take the block that says set direction of fighter jet to zero and add it under one of the turn 15 degrees we'll go on motion scroll down a little and then take the block that says direction and add it under the inside the set direction of fighter jet to direction let's copy and paste it under the next one so this will store the value inside the variable when i turn the fighter sprite the direction changes and so does the variable now our variable has the value of the direction of fighter jet now let's use it in missile we'll go in motion and take the block that says point and direction and add it under the when space key is pressed we'll go on variables and take the block that says direction of fighter and add inside that's it done let's test it it's always giving a 90 degrees difference the reason is that these two sprites always have a 90 degrees difference let's do a trick to solve this problem for every mathematical sums we need an operator you can use different types of operators but for this one we need a minus now let's add the direction of fighter jet inside it and write 90 and add it in the point in direction let's test it great now your game is ready now you can add some changes in this like sound or anything you want keep learning you can give your project a name save it and share it i am sharing the link for my project in video description you can use it hope you liked it see you soon in my next video with another interesting coding tutorial happy learning